All right, I've gone through the data. The ether in this universe is quite condensed and highly unstable. This seems to be affecting the weather, especially at nightfall. Of course, because of ether, the undead are drawn to us during these nightly storms. We need to clear out these prisons and fast. It won't only be just a few enemies on us once night falls, so go. Bring me material we can actually use. What are you waiting for? Hurry up with that salvage. It's getting dark now. Very nice. It looks like this universe has plenty to offer after all. At this rate, these will not only repair the teleporter, but I also might be able to do something more... creative. It's dark. A storm is picking up, and there will be many strong enemies outside the base. You need to return now. My latest masterpiece is finally ready for field testing. This shield will protect you from the storm so long as you remain in its perimeter. Now, feast your eyes on your new automated defense turret system. A pinnacle of my genius on your heart. The best feature? It's the one thing in this wretched place that doesn't require ether to function. Yeah, Vermin. Just as I thought. There's going to be more of them attacking at night. Take good care of the control center. I'll focus on repairing the teleport. I've added ether energy parameters to the turret's auto-aiming system so it can automatically target these creatures. The want to adjust the turret's positions to ensure they have the best positioning. have broken down the facilities outside the control center. Don't just sit there. Get the wrench and repair them. Well done. Keep your guard. My scans are detecting more monsters. I took a crack at creating upgrade blueprints. Here, you can try using collected components to upgrade your turret. When all else fails, do what I often do in these situations. Use nine. More enemies are appearing on the radar. Keep going. The ether energy collector is working now. And keep it from being destroyed. I found the coordinates of our target universe. It's, it's as if there's an energy radiating from it. Look, a new portal is opened. Men, we are going home. Wait, stop. It's not for us to go out. It's for something to come in. Gypsy, Nikolai, prepare to rain fire down upon the intruders. Back off, Doc. Hey, kid, I know what you're thinking. What could sound more appealing than a slime?
slimy stranger giving you orders. Trust me, I know the feeling. But listen, this place has gone to hell. It's getting worse fast. Rick Toffin is stepping up to repair our teleportation device. It's not going to be an easy job. You find us and provide some support, you might actually make it out of here. The speck of good news in all this is that there are still some supplies scattered around this dump. Get yourself armed and maybe mow down an undead ugly or two on the way over. A broken clock is right twice a day, yes? Well, that is German and his plan. Consider it the first correct strike of day. I'm afraid it is my duty to break bad news. By passing through the rift, your world has been affected by the ether. Ether energy has the power to tear open the seams of the multiverse itself, allowing humans and objects to shuttle in and out of time and space. Our coming here was purely by accident.
etheric energy is raging at night. It should be able to provide enough energy to help us reopen the portal. As for you, I'm afraid if you don't make it back on time, we won't wait for you. Don't let poor punctuality be your downfall. materials in public warehouse for your teammates to use. So I 
suggest making good use of your new equipment. The teleportation setting is active, but the etheric energy accumulation will attract more enemies. I've broken the eggs. It's up to you to clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> 